Hi, welcome. My name is Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah Nickel here in Kansas City area. I uh, had some random musings. I wanted to throw out there the idea of agriculture on the blockchain. So I live in a farming community. Uh, I teach in a school where there's, you know, 200 kids here and right outside our playground is a about 12 or 15 cattle. So uh, there's a field on one side. I mean, I'm, I've just grown up in Kansas my whole life. And uh, my father actually works for a uh, a drone uh, company that specializes in aerial photography and soil analysis uh, from the air. Uh, it's a fixed wing aircraft. Their website is ageagle.com. And I'd, I'd always kind of wondered how the blockchain could benefit agriculture. So I have another friend that works for the Dairy Farmers of America. Um, it sounds funny to say that as a company name, but they are responsible for billions and billions of dollars worth of dairy that are produced uh, in the United States. And they, uh, they also cooperate with uh, foreign entities as well. So it's a major, major thing. So I, I got to thinking, what if we could, what if our farmers could be looked at, you know, I'm just thinking of the mist wallet because that's the, you know, the only thing I can compare with. And I'm not a developer. So uh, obviously I'm just another one of these guys out there or girls, you know, depending on your sex that has a good idea but they don't know how to develop for it. But what if you looked at the farmer as being the, the main account on a mist wallet and their cattle, for instance, would be a contract. So when the cow is born, it's already chipped with RFID, long range RFID, and it's tied to a, uh, you know, a public address for the farmer or however that works out. Maybe there's some other back end protocol that would be better suited than obviously mist wallet. Because we're talking about managing a dairy farm. And so your cattle, um, if you didn't know this already, in major uh, dairy farming operations, everything is automated. Uh, the cows understand when it's time to go get milked. And, you know, classically dairy farmers would milk cattle like twice a day. Now they are milked about six or seven times a day, uh, you know, because for a variety of reasons. Plus, it makes the cattle more comfortable. But they're producing more milk than ever. It's an amazing amount of milk that they can produce. And the cattle, are auto they automatically know what, where to go in to stand in a stall, and the machine will kick them out if it's not time to milk, or it'll keep them there with a treat when it is time to milk. And they, they enjoy doing this. I mean, they know their routine and they're benefited by a treat. The machines and the, uh, the back-end software also can administer antibiotics or whatever medicines or, you know, I don't know what your stance are. On, I don't really care on growth hormones or anything like that because I don't know much about it either. I just know that it helps feed the world. And so things like that are automatically administered. Now, tying into my my father's uh, drone company that he's... Terry, can you come to the office, please? Did you hear that? That's a school intercom system. I haven't heard that in a while, have you? Um, so my father's uh, drone uh, company, are, they're working on long-range RFID uh, chips for big ranches where the cattle are roaming a long way away. So a cat, let's say a mother... A mother is about to have a calf, and sometimes they'll kind of run off. They can deploy a drone, and, and, and they'll be able to locate and then have the drone circle overhead, and they can transmit data back to locate the uh, cow. You know, stuff like that. Well, then the blockchain would help kind of do all the day-to-day -day stuff, because I'm sure the back-end software for this is very expensive for these farmers. And, you know, being on Ethereum, it would be a lot cheaper. It'd be managed by, you know, the proof of stake or the proof of work method, what have you. And so <clears throat> my thinking is, is that not only would then that cow have, you know, all of their uh, seed data and all the information about what they're supposed to be doing and how their health is and stuff like somehow the contract in the, in the wallet could report back if the cow is sick or, or whatever. But what if it went then to slaughter? And then, you know, you have the processing. Okay, so you'd be able to have individual animals uh, tagged and on the blockchain for quality control. Let's say 
let's say in another in another realm where somebody's uh, raising cattle or chickens or whatever for organic purposes and a chef at a high-end restaurant really wants to have the best of the best of the best you know there's so much data that can be pulled and maintained in a public way to where you know even clients would be able to verify this that or the other i don't know it just seems like there's a, a, a strong use case for because um, this is what we want ethereum to be we want it to be better than Bitcoin for the simple fact that it could possibly do all of these things. And if you want a real world helpful way, you know, to do things from from the birth of the animal all the way to the dinner table. I mean, look at all that. Look at everything between A and B that could be processed and verified. Um, and it's kind of the dream of the of the FDA and really all of the regulatory bodies that are out there because that blockchain don't lie. Right. You know, the, the blockchain would be able to report on a variety of things. A veterinarian would be able to snap right into that as well to verify data and uh, take a look at the overall health of the animal. Verify that the farmer's following through with the administration of drugs. There would be a, there would be the, some way I would think that all that could tie together end to end from beginning to end. And that the software, you know, I have no idea what that would cost. I'm sure it costs a lot. There'd be some crowd sale again or whatever. I mean, I don't know if a DO, DO hacker could carry a cow away and uh, get away with that, but I don't know. That's kind of out there. Anyway, hugs from Kansas City. Cheers. It's just kind of a random thought on agriculture and the use of blockchain use, and uh, I wish I was smarter than I am. I'm just, I just, I'm thrilled to be here. So keep working, guys. Take care.